Hi everyone, oh, welcome back to our channel. This is Anais and Aoki. And today is Vlogmas day 15. I'm not actually vlogging today, but we are talking about Shiba Inu grooming. And this is a hot topic because I got a few questions over the past months about the frequency I groom Aoki, what it takes to groom him. And I thought to share some of my key learnings and um, experience with you guys. If you're new here, this is my one-year-old Shiba Inu. So let's dive right in. First off is the most sensitive topic for Shiba Inus and their parents as well. You've guessed it, it is nail trimming. When Aoki was younger and up until he was about five months old, he was not sensitive so I could grab his paws, clip his nails, whether they were at the front paws or the back ones. And it was usually a two people job. It's kind of tough to do it alone and I noticed that whenever we would try to clip and as he grew up he'd get more sensitive meaning that he wouldn't allow me to just grab his paws or touch his paws and it's been kind of a nightmare ever since. Now it's been a few months now that I've tried this technique with sandpaper and it is actually Boba's mom, Sophie, who taught me this one. This technique works perfectly for the front paws and it is super easy to do. All you need is a pair of sandpaper. Um, I would say medium grain is better. You'd also need their favorite treats. And I also have a grinder on the side. How I taught this one is basically putting his treats between the two papers and tell him to scratch. Whenever he'd lift his paw and scratch the paper, I'd say yes and give him the treat that was beneath the first sheet and repeat to reinforce the scratch command. Um, now again, this is perfect for the front paws. As for the back paws, um, I try to clip them one nail at a time every day so that he doesn't get too annoyed. Now this technique is not the best and it is not foolproof, but hey, I'm doing my best and I'm trying really hard. Um, one thing I'd love to do in the coming weeks is try a groomer who is specialized with puppers who are sensitive with their paws. Um, so I will keep you posted on that one. Grooming your puppy also includes bathing them. Now, this is obviously not a weekly or monthly task, but sometimes a good bath is required, especially if it is super muddy outside or if Aoki has been playing with other dogs. There's a lot of drool sometimes involved. 
I mean yuck. So I keep his bathing routine kind of like sporadic. The regular plan is bathing Aoki every five to six months. Now this is not always timed perfectly. Like I said, sometimes it's muddy and you just need to. This day I shot that video, it was kind of muddy outside and also and there was also an incident with another dog where the other pepper peed on Aoki so I was kind of like hey I can't use wipes I really need to kind of bathe him um, and as you can tell Aoki's also sensitive to water and bathing is not his favorite activity that being said he's getting better and better and he's really patient with me i can tell that after every bath he the first tip i would give is first do not fill the bath completely if you know that your puppy is sensitive i would say just a few inches is perfect also grab a non-slip bath mat so that you can stick it and your bathtub does not get scratched same if you're doing it in a shower second is using a rag or a big towel so that you can place it at the edge of the bath again so that it's not slippery for you or for him and you protect your bathtub again Third would be using a product that is natural and more catered to puppies because as you know those tend to have more simple ingredients with no perfume so that's best for their fur, for their coat, for their skin. The fourth tip is more for you. If you know that your puppy is not very comfortable in the bath, please use long sleeves because you can get scratched like crazy so i tend to use like a pj or kind of a sweater that i can just throw in the wash afterwards Consistently giving Aoki a treat after bath time is part of the routine and it kind of helps him calm down afterwards. So I would always put the treat on the towel itself so that he can like dry up on the towel and usually he just lounge on it because he knows he's kind of like humid and wet. I would recommend using a big towel and a bone or his favorite treat as a reward. Aoki's grooming routine also involves brushing his teeth. I try as much as I can to brush his teeth at night before bedtime and I usually do it in front of TV. And this has been part of our night routine for a few weeks now. That night we were watching The Crown together. The season five is so good. I feel like it's better than the previous one. Let me know your thoughts if you're watching The Crown as well. If I had to recommend one toothpaste, it is this one, which is enzyme based. I will link it in the description box below. Um, he loves the taste of it. The texture is perfect and it is kind of mess free and it does not smell weird whenever I use it. He gets a bit fussy when I grab his jaw, but he's getting better at it. And for the toothbrush, I use those that you can wear on your finger because I feel I get more control doing that compared to the ones that look like human toothbrush. Um, I get 
more control and get more in the corners and at the back of his jaw. So if I had to recommend a toothbrush, I would go for these as well. Again, the link is down below. Now I've had a bunch of questions regarding brushing my Shiba Inu and how much they shed. Shedding season for Aoki is spring throughout summer. Some Shiba Inus lose their coat over fall as well, but I didn't see that for Aoki. The marking season was really spring for him and he shed all the time throughout summer. I can see that he's fluffing back up um, around his neck in his a bit in his back and also his tail is getting thicker but he's not shedding so i would only use kind of like a simple brush and not the furminator because this one gets too much coat out and i feel like it it's getting the good coat out if i need to brush out key on the weekly i just use this simple one and it just does the job perfectly That's it for today. I hope you liked this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you didn't do so yet and we'll see you all tomorrow.